it could be worth a uh, worth the effort to try and roll down here because you can actually really control your speed like that there you go look it's working oh no there's no way to do an ollie Hey everybody, it's Moombo here, and welcome to another episode of Scrap Mechanic City Modules, I should say, because the full city is in terrible shape right now because of the FPS, so I'm making more modules. And to start this episode off, I made a pretty neat looking Volkswagen van, one of those big vans, you guess, I guess you could call them hippie vans even. Uh, but So I have a couple surfboards on the top there, as you can see, and in the back there, there's a suitcase and some boxes as well. Uh, really neat, handles really nicely, it's uh, very much like driving a van, like one of those smaller vans. Uh, and the, the surfboards on top and stuff, I think they absolutely fit the theme of this episode perfectly. So from one board to another board, we head on over to Skate World. So here we are, as you've guessed it, it is a skate park, uh, the first indoor skate park ever in Scrap Mechanic, I think. I've never really seen an indoor skate park. I've seen a couple on the workshop, I was checking them out. Uh, so as you can see though, nice parking lot on the front. I put on the top there a really cool little kind of design for the front sign. It's a skate with a little moon there, and as you can see it says world on like a fun box with a grinding kind of rail on the side there. Uh, so I thought that turned out absolutely fantastic with the whole skate world. Uh, so let's have a step inside, shall we? So over to our right here, you can see I kind of threw up uh, what you would imagine to be a whole bunch of cool posters. I painted them all sorts of nifty colors. And over here is the skate shop. So as you can see, I've got some skateboards on the top there, and I gotta say, those colors look awfully familiar, don't they? I wonder, can you guys let me know who you think all of these colors belong to? I was certainly inspired, that's for sure. But as you can see, over on this ledge here, we have a couple shelves of trucks. So you need some good hardware, so you get your trucks here, of course. And the front cache and counter underneath it, it has the wheels and the bearings that you would need. Uh, that you would attach, of course, to these awesome-looking colored skateboards. Now, over this way, you can see this is pretty much like the, the front area of the skate park. Right here, I went with a really nifty-looking glass kind of layout uh, that was pretty unique in itself. Uh, I have the cash registers here, which is actually just kind of using a couple of controllers for a few of the items that you can see. Now this is the front entrance here to the cash area, as well as like a lounge for maybe the staff. Uh, this would be like a filing cabinet of course for the documents, maybe you could have some memberships at the skate park. Uh, oh, and up here actually, you can see I made like a little kind of devil looking poster. I thought it turned out pretty neat, uh, and I think it suits the building pretty well. And of course there's a TV on the wall there. And over here is kind of like the another lounging area that actually overlooks the entire skate park. And I think this skate park looks absolutely fantastic. So why don't we turn around this way and head on down to the skate floor. Now before we head all the way down, right here this is like another area for people to relax. Uh, all the way at the end of this kind of hallway ledge here that I lined with some cool glass panels. Uh, you have a couple couches here that you can sit and relax on and watch some people skateboard. And of course I decided to add a first aid kit as well because, you know, you gotta be safe when you're skateboarding. You definitely don't want to get hurt, so you definitely want to have some first aid kit ready. And of course you'd probably want to wear a helmet and some pads just because uh, it hurts to fall. And I used to skateboard actually, so I know what it's like to fall off of a skateboard. I haven't done it in a while. I actually moved into longboarding for a while as well, and then couldn't really do any of that because I just haven't had the time. So let's go and have a look here. So this is an another lounging area. I figured it should be a comfortable place. So right here, this is a pretty cool kind of little lounge area with a bunch of cushions on a ledge so you can sit down and relax here. 
after a tiresome day of skateboarding. I made a whole bunch of skateboard items here, as you can see, and I'll quickly just go through what I have and kind of explain how I made them. Obviously here, this is just a, a staircase with a rail. Um, there's not much of a lead up here if you were to be skateboarding, actually. Uh, but you can imagine that you could probably hit the, hit the rail and drop down like that. And then opposite to this, I added a ramp here that you can kind of roll down and lead you up to a couple little areas that you can use. And I made this a safety block kind of thing, but you can still use this as a ledge if you wanted to. I find this map really... I, I You'll see up on the top of the, uh, the half pipe there, I have a little bit of a skateboard that I made that you can roll around in. It's a lot of fun, uh, but it's not very effective on all the ramps. So this is just like a maintenance area. You can see I threw together like a makeshift broom and some, some pylons there. And this is just like a work area if someone had to write some stuff down or who knows what. So right here, this is one of the first items. This is kind of like a, a ledge grinding area as well as a rail on the top there, which I thought was pretty neat. I tried to color code different looking things so that you could see them better. And this is just like a, a box on the side of it with a bigger ledge that you can actually, uh, I mean, in real life you would imagine rolling up like this and grinding down it like that. And right next to it is kind of like these, it's like two little quarter pipes. Uh, but I'm, I would imagine what you could do with the quarter pipes is basically roll up to it and hop up and over down onto this side and then you can see there's more stuff here that you can use or go back this way and do it this way here. And this one is a really big quarter pipe actually. I was really happy with the way that this quarter pipe turned out. Um, as you can see, they're all designed the same way with just some controllers and bearings that slowly curve the pieces into the kind of d a direction that you want to go. And this one, I put a little ramp here because it is so tall that you actually need to just kind of grab that ramp there. And then you're up on top and you can definitely just kind of slide your way down. And that big quarter pipe there leads you up to this right here. So this is like a two kind of different box area. So right here, you can roll up and ride this way through it. Or of course, you could use the rail that's right there and kind of do a grind on the rail. And you can go up this way here, which has a rail that goes down a few more stairs, uh, which is a pretty typical setup that you would see in a skate park, actually. And then this section here is like the, the wood area. So as you can see over here, there's a darkly painted fun box. So you can jump up and do some stuff here. And there's also like a grinding section right there as well. And then this is like a multi-purpose box here. So you can ride up here. Uh, there's like a little bit of a grinding section here, or you can ride up onto that here. And then it's just a very small three set stairs that you can kind of hop onto and grind some stuff out there too. Now this is my favorite part of the build. This took me the longest to make and perfect. Uh, this is a really neat half pipe. As you can see, it's not the perfect design, uh, but it definitely looks great. And so you can see I have like a, a taller drop in area, and then you have either side of the half pipe. One thing I want to mention about this build actually is the lighting. I was really happy with the lighting and the ceiling for that matter. As you can see, the ceiling is full of girders as well as some frames here for some makeshift windows on the top. And that was really just to get a lot of natural lighting into the building because without it, it's really dark. And if you turn shadows off, I find everything looks very unnatural. Uh, but with the shadows on, the, uh, the depth really comes out and you can see just how nice it is. So let's head on up to the top of the half pipe here. And this, you can see, is the little makeshift skateboard that I made, actually. And it rolls around a little bit. You actually need to use your hammer to get around with it. Uh, we'll take it down to the ground and kind of mess around with it a little bit. But I think what I'm going to try and do is actually drop into it. So if I actually get my hammer out, I can use that to propel myself on the skateboard. So let's see if I can't just drop in on this half pipe here. I'm not sure how this is gonna go. Okay. Nope, that didn't work very well. Obviously the skateboard design is not the greatest design. Uh, I mean, with the hammer, you can see though, you can just kind of roll around like this, right? And it, I mean, you can steer kind of by hitting the, uh, the direction. I mean, this works pretty well. I mean, I'm just skating around here. Uh, sometimes you throw yourself off like that, of course. Uh, but it's lots of fun. 
Uh, but I find this is more of a, like a parkour map, right? So you can actually just kind of run from section to section and imagine you're on a skateboard anyway. Uh, obviously there's so many limits in Scrap Mechanic. But over here, this is just the other side of the half pipe, which is kind of like a little stair jump system here that you can get up onto. And you can see I have both of them lined with uh, some guardrails, of course, so you can't fall off the side. And over here, this is just like a neat little tunnel that you can skate through and come out onto this side here, which is just uh, an opening anyway. And you have like a little makeshift uh, fire exit here, even though, I mean, you don't really need one because it's just a scrap mechanic. But I'm going to try and roll down that uh, ledge right here, actually. I, I know I can actually get down this ledge, so I think it could be worth, a, worth the effort to try and roll down here. Because you can actually really control your speed like that. There you go, look! It's working! Oh no, there's no way to do an ollie, is there? Ollie! Nope. Half of a kickflip. <laughs> I wonder if I can roll down... Actually, you know what? Let's try and drop in on this great quarter pipe right here. This is... This might be... This might be actually worthwhile. Let's see if I can slowly... Let's see if I can slowly drop this off right here. Come on! Drop it in! Oh! Oh, it just flipped right over my head. Ah! Not the greatest skateboard. I mean, I saw some skateboards on the workshop, and I noticed that they all have mods, and I usually like to keep my stuff vanilla, so... In this case, there's this little wiener skateboard that kind of gets the job done. Uh, but like I said, this is more of a parkour map that you can actually just kind of run around like this and try some different imaginary tricks. Because, I mean, honestly, this module is definitely all about the aesthetics and how it looks, and kind of enjoying it for that. But that's really all I have for you guys today in this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it though, make sure you hit that like button and of course subscribe for Endless Scrap Mechanic. And as always, be sure to put your suggestions for city modules in the comments. I always love receiving them and I'm trying to get as many of them done as I can. And I'm always looking forward to getting more of them done. So uh, thanks for watching everybody and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one.